morning. All right. It's uh, today's Monday. Um, just got back from London yesterday. Had a long weekend there. It was all right. So I'll show you where we're at. So I think the last video you saw, um, I'm trying to think now. Might have been doing that. I can't. I can't remember. Um, yeah, I think it was because the two days after that was just it was unbearably hot. I mean, we uh, we got we all struggled. Well, all of us, two of us, we both struggled. Um, but yeah, got this plot completely knocked out now. Wall plates on. Um, they're quite twisted, to be honest. Um, and if you look down this, the level, but the twisted, but there's no you can do. This is the quality of timber you get nowadays. It twists and then it, it sort of twists back. So it starts off wonky and then and then it goes back flat. Um, I spoke to Joiner about it. Who's putting trusses on? And he's all right. He says it is what it is. Um, that that one over there is particularly bad. Um, he says he's all right with it. So that's the uh, that's the main thing. Uh, and then yeah, we're we're starting in here. So I've, I've sort of changed what I'm uh, I'm doing. Um, I'm not doing profiles on the inside anymore now it's just me and Ash um, I find it easier to to build corners while he's sort of loading out and, and doing bits so once once I've done all the corners he, he'll finish that and then we can both jump on and run in um, how I was doing it was profiles so it's a profile in the corner and then either brace it at the top or or T clamp it or not T clamp um go on timber clamp um but I just just find it like obviously Ash is not confident enough in sort of building the corner on the profile um you know he's not too sure which is fine um I ain't got a problem with that so I'm obviously I'm running to one end sorting his end out then running to my end and sorting my end out and you you know you, you find that you just you, you're sort of building a, a corner it's not like block and it's, it is sort of block and run um but you're having to plumb the reveals and by the time you've done all that you know um and and this is coming from someone who, who loves profiles um i'm starting to love profiles anyway i mean i've not used them a great deal but on this job you know, it's, it's it's like profile heaven, you know, especially on the outside. But I just find I found this way now is is easier when there's when there's only two of you. Before, when when we were two and one, it made sense um, to have profiles on the inside because there were there was two constantly laying. Um, but now there's only one constantly laying, and then Ash jumps on and does the running in. I mean, he's not. Is nowhere near ready yet to do a corner, which is fine. Um, I want to get him nailed on running in, and you know, get that get that knocked on the head, and then he can then he will progress to him building corners. So yeah, that is where we're at. Corner up, corner up, run in. Um, <laughs> got no blocks. Uh, I'm getting fed up with this. Um, it's got that pack left there on the bay, which will will finish loading this side out, and then probably get enough out of it to do the two corners. Um, trusses are coming today, so that'll that'll take up a bit of my time to uh, to get them unloaded. Um, we're meant to get this ready for trusses by Wednesday, but I, I can't see it now. Not if this delivery's not come. So yeah, that's where we're at. I'm a little bit achy. Um, walking around London all weekend, but it's all right. Back at work, and some money.
well, <laughs> yeah, try to earn some money. We'll just see, we'll see when this delivery turns up, it might come today. So yeah, I'll uh, stop waffling on and uh, get some blocks laid.
See a scrap man driving past shouting because there's all that scrap on us too. I don't know how they don't see it. It's tough to aim it behind edges. Well, they usually like magnets to it, aren't they? Yeah. But I'm surprised, I'm surprised they haven't come on and ask. They usually ask. Oh, they normally fucking have it.
Cardinals for the first time on Friday, yeah. I didn't have oat off. Yeah. And that um butterfly chicken is it? Alright. Chips are nice and all. Quite a lot and all, but you know, like portions and that. Yeah. Chinese uh, set in eight. It's like Chinatown. Not a nice one. I'm probably the best Chinese I've had. You know, they're from Chinese. <laughs> Do you have chicken and mushroom or? If I have from Teco, I have uh, duck fried rice. Yeah. Uh, but for some reason, restaurants, they don't really seem to do. They do some duck, but not, not like that. So I had sweet and sour chicken. Yeah. Which we'll do. Well that's it, I mean I would have been like we walked about for ages trying to find like see if we could see a decent one. Now did you see why I bet it wall plate on quite big over there? Because this one is gonna end up being kind. This corner. We saw a lot. I mean, it, it was it was even with people. Yeah. Um, I mean, there were a couple of ones that didn't have many folk in, and there it was the shit ones. This one that we ended up going in. Um, did you have to do like walking on it? Did you book it? Yeah, we just walked in. So, 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 so I'm not. We're not booking anyway because we didn't like know exactly what time we were going out. Yeah. And I think. We sort of like London. A lot of places you can walk in. I don't think they really do bookings. And it's just chance it whether yeah. they've got a table or not. If they aren't, it's tough shit. Um, but yeah, we were straight in. A little busy, which obviously we're a good sign, but yeah. Oh, nice. I'd go back there. <laughs> I mean, it's like you read reviews, but it's a lot of people, a lot of fussy people. On That's reviews, it, isn't it, especially in London. I mean, I'm saying everyone, but they want they want it fucking fed to them, right? And like with Chinese, you've got to expect different to somewhere else, like service and everything. I mean, they're not they're not going to sit and talk to you and act like you're the the mate and that, that's just not what they're like. Yeah. There's a lot of reviews saying, oh, waiters are rude and nice. Yeah, the only life was in their country, I was like trying to talk to them and they're like, they don't understand them, would they? You know, they're not, probably they're not slagging you off and, oh, and snaps nice, I don't really care. But they, they were all right, I mean, there were one waiter who, Say we're moody as such. 
schools were fine on that way.
Um, I'll let you join this up while I have another one. And there we go. That's Monday's effort. And if you're wondering why that hasn't been running, uh, I've actually left, well, I've left that because this hasn't been running, but if you're wondering why that hasn't been running, it's because there isn't a single full block left up on this scaffolding. I even had to pinch a few from over there to do this above the lintel. Um, the reason I've done that is I found that the, the big ones are deflecting a bit and I think it's because of the weight of the block. Obviously we're using seven Newton blocks, they're quite heavy. Um, the lintel shouldn't be bending, not at that span. I mean that's an 1800 opening. They shouldn't be, uh, they shouldn't be deflecting. If you were using Selcons um, or even lightweight breeze, they wouldn't they wouldn't bow like they're doing. Um, so yeah, what I've done is I've just run that split course across, and then once all that's stiffened up and gone gone solid, then when I run the full block across the top, because I think it's the full block that's actually causing it to sag, so there's, there's more weight. Um, it shouldn't do because it's obviously. It's like one solid unit and made it stronger. So that's that. Up to wall plate on this one. Got these on, damp on everything. Corners up. And then all, all it's needed to do is run this in and then work his way out of the plot. That's why I've left that off. Just so that we, when we've got to load this out, we're not um we're not ducking under the lintel. But no idea when the blocks come in. No one's told me anything. Um, so as you can see, trusses came. So that were 
That took an hour to get them off. Um, I'm actually going to cut the joists tomorrow for that. Uh, them three plots down there. There's probably a day's worth of work doing that because you've got to measure each plot individually and then I think it's 22 joists. So it's 66 cuts. Um, and then we'll probably just get them stacked up sort of like what we did on here just stacked at one end and then when the scaffold goes up we can um, we can get them spaced out and, uh, and braced up but I'm hoping, I'm hoping there's a delivery tomorrow it's, it's going to be on a joke now um, sort of like living day to day not knowing if there's going to be enough materials to carry on it's just I don't, I don't know in my head I'd just flood this site with packs of, I mean, maybe not now, because we're, you know, we're, we're a good, probably two thirds of the way through, but from the beginning, I'd, I'd have had like, you know, what, if possible, like 100 packs, because we've easily done that. I mean, they bring, they bring 10 per delivery, so. You know, we've just got them stacked up, there's there's room, but people think differently to me. I'm just uh I'm just a area ass builder as they say. Um so I don't get to make them decisions, unfortunately. If uh if I did, then well in my eyes it'd uh should run smoother and we'd probably be further on but hey ho so yeah that's where we're at another little rant over I seem to do a lot of them <laughs> uh, and yeah I'll uh, I'm not gonna video cutting joists it's pretty boring um, I'll probably not even video putting them on because I think the joiner will have to help us um, and you probably don't want to be on camera so yeah i'll see you the next video will be when we've got the next delivery of blocks and we're uh, running this in thanks for watching